Well, speaking of that industry, it was one of the hardest hit during the pandemic, the movie theater industry. But thanks to COVID numbers changing a bit and then the help of a few summer blockbusters, the industry now is booming. I spoke with Mike Butterbaugh at Red Cinemas to find out why. So, you know, I, I keep thinking, Mike, back, I mean, for a couple years ago, it's a different scene in theaters, right? What was it like for you guys during that period? Ghost Town? Yeah. Uh, it, it was tough because we went in and readjusted all our studios to keep the social distance. We went through our cinema and changed to infrared filtration system. A lot of these things people don't know and understand that we did above and beyond. Upgrades. Oh basically. my, uh, upgrades for people's safety, for um, employee safety. So then now, when did you start noticing the increase? Cause I'm reading all this about the numbers in theaters are now flying, but. Listen, it, it's been happening uh, for a while. I used to wake up in the morning and see the sales and think, wow. And then Top Gun and Thor happened uh, to the point where we were back doing numbers that were pre-COVID. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure any of us ever thought we were gonna get back to those numbers but we have. And I think that's what people, they just, we want normalcy. Yeah. And there's nothing more family than going to the movies. Well, I mean, you see the parking lot today yeah, when you came full. in. It's full. We do a, a kids series uh, during the summer, every Tuesday to Thursday. That's $1 a ticket. You can bring your kid to see a movie, uh, get some popcorn, and, and sort of like a quote unquote daycare. Yeah. You know, what do you think? So let's peek down the road, because mm -hmm. now, I mean, we're back, kind of sounds like we're back pre COVID. Where can theaters go next? Uh, I, I think theaters are going to grow. I, I think, uh, you know, CDs happen, DVDs happen, streaming happen. This has always been the consistency. Uh, taking the family out, taking the kids out to see a movie, to see a Top Gun, uh, to see a Super Pets. So those blockbusters will keep you keep going? They're, they're keep on going. And if you look ahead, there's a lot of good movies coming out. I see, I see good things. I, I, I enjoy this place. I love this place. Uh, I grew up at movies. Yeah, me too. You know, and to bring my kids, it, it, it's like an amusement park day for my kids just to come in here and recline on the chair and, awesome. and watch their movies. This isn't too bad either. No, like, it's not. I'm going to roll with this. Thank you for letting us in today. I couldn't get my eyes off that popcorn here. <laughs> and uh, what's left of that is in the newsroom right now. And, we I, like, and I had a couple of handfuls of it moments good. ago. And it was wonderful. Yeah, I, I like the question that you asked about um, where they see movie theaters going next. Because where I would like to see it go next mm -hmm. is make it seem like it's more like um, when you go to Disney World. Sometimes the seats shake when you're watching oh, yeah. it during moments. Oh. Or every once in a while there are smells. Like, you know, yep. if it's raining, it starts to smell like it's I raining like in the movies. Like just a more immersive experience. More of an IMAX like kind of feel. And there are mm -hmm. some theaters that yep, do absolutely. that. But I like the idea of the shaking like chairs. You know, it's kind of bring you like into Like for Top Gun, you know, yeah. if like yeah, you think it's a very mm -hmm. tense moment, they're flying through the, you know, the canyon and your seats actually shake. I remember at Disney World once when I went, they had this thing called Alien Encounter and the same mm -hmm. thing. Oh. The lights would flicker and they had little speakers behind the seats yes. and you'd hear the alien breathing on your neck and they would blow air yes. out of this little thing. It was crazy. That's the kind it's of even thing scarier that when they had the 3D uh, oh, yeah, glasses no, and the snakes could start coming at you. <laughs> right. I don't know screen. if I want that much. <laughs> I'll, I'll take just the speakers. Um, it was cool because I like Red Cinemas because it's more of a, you know, a local thing. It's more, in, they right. do a lot of independent films and documentaries, uh, which I love too. And there are small theaters you can rent out and he said there's like 30 seats and they'll play you know, Top Gun and the big movies, if you rent that out, and I don't know what it costs, but that's really cool. Have any of you, have you guys gone back to the movies since everything opened back up? Or? Have I done that? Top Gun. Okay, Top Gun. All right, so that's my next one, but no, this would be I saw time. Elvis about a month ago, and it was my first time since March of 2020, and it reminded me why I liked going to the movies, because I was so used to watching everything from home, but it is a different it's experience. It's different, yeah. yeah. Plus that smell of the popcorn. Yes. <laughs> And I'm then gonna you have, have to, to get, eat it. I hope there's some left so I can get a couple hands. I'm going to. The and you, did you say you like stale popcorn? Okay, yes. She does. Movie popcorn the next day with that little stale taste is really well, good. Well, you're gonna love it because the movie popcorn <laughs> you brought back is stale now. It's, it's still in there.